Here is our untitled canvas on which is placed various objects in different states of disrepair. Sometimes lower resolution files cannot be avoided, but do try and get stock files that are high res. In this tutorial, we're going to take this pixelated candelabra and de-pixelate it. Since we're going to be operating directly on the layer itself, I'm going to duplicate the candelabra layer. We'll lock the original layer and start working on the copy. Now, first we're going to take the Dodge tool and lighten up these middle tones. So I take a 29 size brush, use the mid-tones, and put the exposure at about 26%. just showing you a little bit here. And this is with the Dodge tool. You'll go over the entire candelabra with the Dodge tool. Next, I use the Blur tool. And you can set this at whatever you're comfortable with. Here I've got it at 35 pixels. Moving that down now to 12 at about a 59% strength. Here is the key to depixelating. I've taken the smudge tool at about a 20 pixel brush here and brought down the strength to about 31 percent. If I had it at 100 percent you would really affect it. All I'm doing here is a dance with the smudge tool. Up, down, right, left. Up, down, right, left. I just do the same thing over on each one. As you can see, probably, hopefully, it is blurring the pixelation. And it does it a whole lot better than the blur tool. But you must be very careful and you must have that strength down, way down from 100%. Up, down, right, left, up, down, right, left. The way you use a smudge tool here is that you click and hold onto a spot and move that one spot up and down, left and right. The goal is to end up in the exact same position as when you started the smudge dance. However, because you won't end up in the same position, you get a slight blur. Just going to show you a little bit more here. There it is before. Here we are after. Once the candelabra is in its final place, I'll add in reflections to make it more natural. In the meantime, you can use the burn tool and burn in the shadows just a little bit. I've got it at oh, about a 32%. I'm moving it down to about a 13% exposure just to pull out some of those shadows, go over the whole thing, and that is how you depixelate an object. Think you can do it? Sure you can. Thanks for listening.